Hi everyone, my name is Kenneth Chu from ABCD Technology. Today, I will continue to share with you guys on how to use and manage the calendar setting in the Dingtok Calendar app mobile version. So first of all, you need to log in your Dingtok app. Secondly, you need to click on the calendar button. Same, we go to here, the filter button here. And then we scroll down to the last part here. Okay, on how to do the calendar setting. So when you click on here, it will show all the settings shown here. So synchronize Ding Mail schedule means that if you're using the Ding Talk email, you can synchronize with the email schedule. Share schedule means that anyone who shared their schedule okay, to you, okay, you can display synchronize in your calendar. So here, when you switch on, that means you will receive the notification for both. Secondly, okay, you can see here, this is the phone calendar. If you switch on any phone calendar event, it will synchronize in the Ding Talk calendar. And when you click on here to switch on the enable event notification, you will receive the notification okay, in the Ding Talk calendar. Okay, third is the reports. Okay, if you want to show the reports date in your schedule in the calendar, you can just switch on, synchronize it, and then you can open to enable the notification. Okay, so the below here we have a last three part. So hide rejected event means that any event that you created or being rejected, you can just switch on to hide. Okay, so that it will make a bit neat in your calendar. Okay, same goes to hide the cancel event. You can just switch on any event that cancel. Okay, it will not show in your calendar. Okay, last but not least is show weather information. So when you switch on show weather information, you can see from here, you can see the weather. Okay, I will show you again. Just press here, you can see the weather. Okay, so that's all for my sharing on how to use and manage the calendar setting in the DingTalk app mobile version. See you guys on next time. Bye.